Hi guys, welcome to another episode, I guess, of how to stay sane while the world's, world's going crazy. Um, this week I was working on my lesson for Kids Town and um, it actually really applies to parents as well. Um, I was thinking about all all the pressure we put on ourselves, all the pressure to um, be good parents, to provide for our kids, to put on a perfect meal, to keep a clean house, to take care of the laundry, make sure the kids are learning what they're supposed to learn, make sure they have physical activity, um, take care of the pets in the house, um, all these things. And the more and more pressure we put on ourselves, the more stressed out we get. And um, the less we are uh, the way God has created us to be. Or who God has created, yeah, the way God has created us to be. Um, so it's, it's about putting on pressure. So I have two high schoolers and two middle schoolers. And um, I feel as though um, I'm failing my kids because um, I never taught high school and middle school. Um, and let's be honest, it was a few years ago that I was in high school, just a couple, not many, but it's been a while since I took AP Calculus. Um, and so when my kids are asking for help, I feel really helpless. Um, and it's, I start to put more pressure on myself. Maybe I should be learning AP calculus so I can help my daughter with her AP calculus questions. Um, that is unnecessary pressure. I can't help that. I can't change that. If I'm putting pressure on myself and worrying about things that are out of my control, it's going to cause me to become sick just upset stomachs, I'm gonna get headaches, I'm gonna become short-tempered with my family, and that's not good. So I've realized I have to let go of those things, those things that I cannot control, I have to let go. And it made me think of that saying, let go and let God. And you know, I looked that up, that's not actually um, biblical scripture, but I did find scripture that um, I feel goes right along with that, and it's from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. I'm gonna read it to you, you've heard it before, but think of it in the ways of letting go and letting God, okay? It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So even right there, God is saying, quit stressing out about all that stuff. It's out of your control. It's not worth your time and your effort and your energy. Stop stressing about it. Let it go. So I found this, well, this is, this is my son's squishy. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They're quite satisfying. You squish them, they're soft. It's like you press the air out and they come back up. But I imagine these are kind of like us. And this is, this is what it was created to look like. This cute little cupcake, cute little eyes, full, full of life and fluff. Um, but as we start to squeeze it and put pressure on it, it starts to distort the way it was created to look. And the more pressure and the more we push on it, the more we distort it and the less it looks like what it was created to be. And I feel like this is a good um, analogy for what we do to ourselves. The more pressure we put on ourselves, the worse we look and the less we become the way we're supposed to until we let go and back we go to the way we're supposed to be. So I know we're all stressed out right now with distance learning. That's out of our control. We're, we're worried about the germs that might affect our family. Again, that's out of control. What's in your control is how you react 
to the situation that you're in right now, how you treat your family. Um, your family can wash their hands and wear masks. You can't control other people. Um, know that the teachers are doing an excellent job with the distance learning. That's out of your control. You as mom, as dad, as caregiver, your job is to be supportive. So instead of doing this, I'm not a good teacher. I, I wasn't a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I don't know what I'm doing. How come no one's wearing a mask? I can't let my kids go outside. Instead of doing that, let go of it, control what you have control over, and let God handle the rest. I will see you all next week. And in the meantime, remember to let it go. Let God handle it. Control what you can control. And all of the rest is not worth your effort and energy. Let it go.